y'all, Juliana here. I'm out at Covey Rise where we found another one of our really magnificent native wildflowers. It's the Passiflora incarnata, more commonly known as the purple passion flower. Purple passion flower is an incredible native wildflower because of its really unique floral anatomy. Looking at the plant, you can see that it has three stigmas that tower over everything else. Below the stigmas are five anthers. That's the pollen producing part of the plant and all of them face downwards. Underneath the anthers is a corona of filaments that creates this really amazing target design on the corona. At the center of the target, it just so happens to be where the plant produces copious amounts of nectar. So our passion flower produces both nectar and pollen to offer to pollinators. It is this nectar that makes it super popular with all kinds of insects, but not all of them are appropriate pollinators. And that's because when an insect visits this flower, it must make its way to the center of the target to get to the nectar. If it's a small insect, it's going to get to the nectar and never pick up any pollen. But if it's a large enough insect, like a carpenter bee, its back will brush up against these downward facing anthers and pick up pollen so that it can then transfer it to another passion flower and successfully pollinate. Outside of playing host to numerous insects that love the nectar and important pollinators like our native carpenter bees, the passion flower also hosts several species of butterfly caterpillars. Most importantly, the fritillary species of butterfly feed on our passion flowers. So those are our variegated and gulf fritillaries. Other than insects, passion flower is really great for native wildlife because it produces a large edible fruit called the maypop, which is where it gets another one of its common names, maypop. The fruits are reportedly called maypops because of the sound they make when you open them. This fruit is edible for birds and mammals, including ourselves. So we can take these fruits home and eat them raw or make really great jellies out of them. So while you're out and about this summer, look for this amazing native plant. You can plant it in your own house in a nice, bright, sunny spot. It's really great to have around for all of us.